There is only darkness for you, and only death for your people. Alright guys, it's Devil Spawn. I'm recording my Stam DK PvP build video. Um, this is gonna be a medium armor build. Uh, we'll get right into it. Blood Spawn. Five piece fury. We got three deadly on the body and the small pieces. And then a deadly battle axe with a berserk enchant. Um, front bar we got Maelstrom Sword Board. This gives us magic and sustain and medium. Um, poisons we got drain health. Three weapon damage, or two weapon damage, one stam recovery. This is infused, the other two are protective. Um, we got one try enchant, two try enchants, three try enchants on the big pieces, and then uh, four stam on the small. This gets us up to 25k health in Cyrodiil, which I believe is the bare minimum that you want to be having with how high damage is at this point. Right in the skills, we got Reverb, Vigor, Heroic, Frag, uh, Reflective Plate. This is your flex spot. You can vote whatever you want here. I just prefer uh, Reflective Plate over Shuffle because Shuffle is, puts a lot of strain on my stand pool. And um, with the amount of snipers that are out in Cyrodiil, this can really save you from having to be defiled um, at range. And then this is your flex ult. You can run Corrosive here, you can run the Sigic ult for uh, minor protection, or you can run Spell Wall. Um, Dawnbreaker also works if you just want to pump up your damage on this bar so you can get uh, bigger, bigger ticks. Back bar, we have uh, Forward. Um, I know a lot of people don't know how to play in medium with uh, without rally, but personally, I believe that uh, this is going to not only make you a better player, but it's going to allow you to pull off some better one vxs because the more mobile you can be, the better you can get to line of sight and survive. Um, Venom claw executioner. I prefer executioner over uh, reverse slice because I'd rather finish a single target in a one vx than have the chance to do damage to three. So. Um, volatile. You can do either more here. Um, I prefer to pull night blades out of cloak. So um, this is my guy. Noxious, and then take flight. Um, right in the CP. Um, so 61 ironclad, 39 medium armor focus. These points are actually really inefficient here. I'm just really OCD about my character sheet. Um, and having imbalance resist always irritates me. So I just put these in here. Otherwise, you'd put like. 66 Ironclad and 66 Thick Skin and put the rest in the Hardy Alley. Um, anyways, 35 Resistant, 61 Thick, 37, 37. 44, um, 13, 37, 49, 61, and 66. Uh, 56 Blessed. Physical weapon expert is 19, 66 there, 48 precise strikes, 25 piercing, and 56 mighty. Um, now, something to take into account with the blue CP here, um, I actually set up a spreadsheet um, with my, uh, for healing um, with CP taken into account, and uh, 56 precise or 56 blessed with 48 precise strikes was actually giving me the highest amount of healing possible um, with my Munda selection that I have. Um, I am running the thief, uh, which is uh, pretty consistently giving you about 10% more healing than the warrior is. So um, I might link that spreadsheet down below. It's kind of unfinished at the moment, but. It gets the job done for what I was needing it for. Um, and then we were running our TAM. Uh, pretty obvious why we're running our TAM. Um, so, yeah, just a quick little video. Uh, get you guys updated on what, what I'm running for medium. Uh, I don't really run heavy anymore. If I do, it's just Fury Veiled. It's super basic. Um, anyways, 